When one of the UK's aircraft carriers is deployed to the South China Sea, what are the risks involved? At a recent parliament hearing, China experts weigh in. NTD's Lorraine Ferrier has the story. Experts warn of high risks of incidents when the UK's aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth is deployed to the South China Sea. They spoke on Tuesday at the Commons Defence Committee on China's military ambitions. We should see uh, and should see um, sailings through the South China Sea just as, as the uh, law of the sea allows. Um, but I also think we're going to see more tension, more tension ar around them and therefore a, a greater risk of, of an incident. The aircraft carrier is scheduled to conduct its first operational mission as part of a freedom of navigation operation. An American destroyer will escort the HMS Queen Elizabeth alongside the UK's own destroyers, frigates, a submarine and a tanker. So just the vast uh, uh, uptick in the types and the numbers of these uh, exercises and normal drills, regular drills, as Beijing calls them, I think really increases the risk here of miscalculation, misunderstanding, misinterpretation. She said this year there has already been 44 incursions by the People's Liberation Army. Parton stressed another factor, China's increased focus over the disputed Scarborough Shoal. And we're just seeing an increasing sort of aggressive stance, increasing nationalism, propaganda about it. Um, uh, and that I think makes the risk of, a, of an incident, a collision between ships or like the 2001 where two aircraft coll uh, collided, just a little bit more likely. The CCP last year said that, quote, China will take all necessary measures to safeguard its sovereignty, rights and interests in the South China Sea. The HMS Queen Elizabeth will set sail in May from Portsmouth. Lorraine Ferrier, NTD News.